Well, Nelson, I know you for over five years now. We about five, five, yeah, about five. Yeah. We members of the same club, and it's lovely to. Actually, I'm honored to know people like you because you, in some sense, my role model. First of all, you practice law, and then you definitely older than me. And uh, sometimes I look up to you and sort of a jealousy, like I want to be in your shape. Oh, but I'm yes. your age, but you're being generous. <laughs> well, well, I'm not sure being old, older mm. is something to be、uh, praised about, but. I am older than you because I I study Chinese culture itself, but basically the the journey into religion went for me through Confucius and through Taoism and basically through many many cultures in the East. You were searching. I was searching. I was.、Yeah. I'm still probably on a journey of searching. But what I'm、uh, thinking when I see you with all your Interests in life. You practice in law. You paint, and you're a great painter. I can tell you. The land that we that we're moving, kind of a kind of the、mm-hmm. fighting scene, you know. Just,、mm-hmm. you know like、On the other hand, this is very calm. Like these two persons,、mm-hmm. very calm. And this is kind of, not many people like.、Um, Ravens.、Uh, yeah, but I think this is. I like this paintings. You know, calm and subtle.、Uh, this. It's more like freedom, you know, just free.、Right. And when I was a kid, I like green. This is my favorite color. Yeah. Yeah. And and here is a, a three birds.、Uh, to me, in painting at least, three the number three is magical because you can do a lot with three. In this one, actually, six. You know,、mm-hmm. just like that musical note, do re mi do re mi. You know, if you like, if you use your imagination. They are kind of resting, but they are alert. The birds, right? right. If if you throw a stone to the river, they are all gone. Yes. Nothing, you know. That kind of kind of going beyond the painting. This one, this one is very different. This one sort of very strong, very aggressive, looking for for prey. And again, you know, there is the weeds moving,、mm. and I did it on purpose, moving the opposite. You know the wind is going this way,、mm-hmm. but it's going that way.、Mm-hmm. It does. It didn't really affect him.、Mm-hmm. So I do it myself, but I probably an apprentice compared to you because we we see your paintings and you write books. And what I like about you is your discipline. You wake up at four o'clock just like me every morning, but you, unlike me who meditate, exercise, you go to work、mm-hmm. and then you exercise. And it, it, it's admiring. Except meditation. Except meditation. <laughs> Because I'm restless, I can't just sit. <laughs> oh, good, good. Actually, it's fantastic. I mean, I if I don't start my the rest of my day is probably too disoriented.、Yeah. That's why I meditate yeah, in the morning and I、yeah. set myself up. Going back to the time when you arrived, when was it? How many years ago? More than fifty years. I came in nineteen seventy. 1970. 1970. I remember that in December arriving in、uh, Toronto. Yes, at, at that time called <laughs> Toronto International Airport. Yeah. In the middle of the night, and it was not like the red flag. There was no red flag. We、right. stopped so many places. By the time you arrive, you are totally disoriented. Of course. And you get off, and it's snowing. I haven't seen snow for 15 years. <laughs> At that point, <laughs> and wow, it's freezing cold. I felt like I'm kind of Marco Polo. Yeah, you know, you go to a different culture. Yes, without the language. Yes, you explore, and everything is exciting. Yes, you know, in the middle of the night, and I, I, my language must be really poor because the school has someone to come and pick me up, <laughs> and they, they, they call my name. I, yeah,、uh, I didn't hear it. So <laughs> by the time I get out. Yeah, he's already gone. <laughs> so someone has to call him back and saying, "Hey, guess what?" So he was he was not too happy coming back two in the morning. You know? <laughs> It's interesting because you mentioned something. I I always tell people、um, the moment you stop being curious,、uh, you hurt yourself badly because you're cutting yourself from the world. You you're not interested in this world. You stop developing. You stop learning, and it's just probably. End of life for you doesn't it's, matter. It's game over. 
Yeah, it's game, game over. Yeah. Exactly. Got to be something I, that I like that. Yeah, got to be something that still attract your attention. Yes. That is curious, and you want to find out more, and such is life. Well, looking for more, I I don't think when you moved to Canada you thought about being in jail. Tell us about that story. Yeah. Well, first of all. <laughs> Is, I, I, mine is not an immigration story because I didn't came as an immigrant. Yes. I came as a student. <clears throat> and um, which way you came to do? Well, uh, uh, being a foreign student is very different. At the time, you are not allowed to work, for instance. Right. And also, I did not have a citizenship anywhere. Right. So I'm kind of on an ID certificate of identity. Right. And. And on my ID is a stateless. I have no country, so um, and I had no intention or no expectation or not expecting Canada to accept me mm. as a landed immigrant. Uh, sometime during my study, after I come to study, see the work, and went to university, and afterwards have to go home. Then the opportunity arrives, so I become a landed immigrant. So I, the choice is obvious because I have no country. Yes, and yes. Uh, here's a country saying, "Would you that, that I can apply and become a landed immigrant and a citizen?" Well, finished university, I work uh, for the Correctional Service of Canada. Uh -huh. It's called Penitentiary Service at the time, which is federal prison. Yeah. Uh, federal prison. So I worked there for a few years, get myself mm -hmm. settled, uh, uh, migrated my mother and my. A younger brother to Canada. My, my father passed away, okay. and then just um, settled on a family, and then I then went to law school. So I worked for them for five years, mm. and and after law school, they they was looking for me. <laughs> they were looking for me. You know why? Because because the the prison law is evolving, and they were looking for people to be a disciplinary judge. In a federal setting, um, but it is it, it it is beneficial for someone who has that prison experience. It's right. not because it's a different world. You go in there, yeah. everything is different. So you have some kind of knowledge of, of where these people are coming from, the staff, what the staff facing, and the background of some of the inmates, and make life easier. So they were actually looking for me, and I say, no. <laughs> you know, and 15 years later, I receive a phone call again. You know, hey, you know, I said this time I said okay, I because I, I learned the law, yeah. practicing law, I, uh, I hang out my own shingle, yes, and um, it's 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 a weekly uh, hearing, yes. So and I work for 15 years. Wow, so. Working as a judge, as a lawyer, in prison, um, in Canadian prison, you already mentioned it changed your perspective of Canadian society a little bit because you see people in a very, very unfortunate stage in their life. Yes. And just like immigrants, I know prison probably not the right comparison to changing life as an immigrant but changing country, changing condition, put people to extreme situations sometimes. Yes. That's what we observe. And looking back, I always tell people, don't be afraid. Uh, be curious, be open to new stuff, and, and life will throw good things at you. It may be bad thing occasionally, but good things will come if you search, uh, search and, and open to this. Uh, what's your impression how people should take a new country as psychologically um, as new immigrants, new new people in a new place uh, with open mind or stay kind of secluded, closed in, ready to fight. Um, to me it's obvious but I want to pick on you, uh, on your opinion. Yeah, well so, first of all everybody is different so uh, I have my experience, I have my preference and which might not be shared by other people. So what you're asking me is how I feel about being an immigrant. I tell you that, but I'm not saying everybody should be like me, Absolutely. right? So the number one thing is that is the is commitment. I think you come to a new country, you are committed to the new country, 
don't hesitate. And I know there are cases where immigrants back and forth, back and forth, right? Mm -hmm. They come to the original country, come here, three years later back there, and back and forth. If the indecision is bad for you, in particular, it's bad for the children. That's number one. Number two, you have to you have to learn the language. Uh, nowadays, enrichment, for instance, and I'm not being critical of oh, any sure, particular sure. group, that that fifty percent of the of the population are Chinese yeah. or Orientals, yeah. and a lot of them maintain the language, speak the language. So it is possible for a new immigrant to arrive here, live in Richmond, saying, "Oh, I live in Canada. Uh, I, you know, you can you can speak Chinese and all that." They're self-limiting. Yes. Decisions yes. are being made in Ottawa that affect your pension. You don't even know, yeah. you know. And you say, "Oh, Canada is all Chinese." No, the Chinese population is very low. When you look at the entire Canada, yes. right? Yes. So uh, you, you have to learn the local language, learn the local system, like maintain your culture if you like. But you have to be committed to this country. You are working here. Mm -hmm. You make Canadian dollars. You get education here. You, you get free medical. Your commitment should be here. Very good. So yeah. uh, if we summarize. Commitment to a new country because without commitment, I don't want to draw uh, parallel, but like in marriage, you want to date, yeah, or you want to get married. That's right. It's very close, right? Because if you're not committed, you're always looking on the side. Yeah. And even coming back, it's like going back in life and not fully committing yourself to present, which hurting yourself because you're not enjoying this present moment. Yes. Well, I guess that's why we call it present. Right? Yes, yes. It's a gift. Yes. Second, uh, you said, be again open, learn language, culture. Uh, we're not talking about forgetting your own culture because yeah. to me it's unfair also because we have to maintain the roots, the relationship, the culture. We, we, we have to treasure it and probably we cannot sacrifice that for new culture but we have to adapt and uh, I think I always say this like there is enough space in your heart if you fairly treat both countries your country of birth origin yeah. and your new country but if you're not committed then you're sort of um, cheating but who are you cheating I think people cheat themselves by doing this because the time goes by but they cannot find themselves committed and satisfied too because they're always looking back but there is no back no the wise man said well, you cannot yeah. go into the same no because spice. where you come from yes. is changing without you too so yes. a lot of immigrants going back the country was no longer the same because they, you you left for 10 years and they don't mm -hmm. stay there the same right mm -hmm. even the expression has changed food has changed living condition changes and your friendship you know is breaking down on and on so to me multiculturalism which is good it's not self-isolation. Yes. You hide behind all the culture and saying, oh, Canada encourage you to maintain your own culture. Yes, but there is other components to it, you know. Right. Like, uh, like the yin and yang. Yeah. You you keep your culture and there is the yang part or the yes. yin part but where you are part of the yeah. larger community. To, for your own benefit, because yes. you live here, right? So you have your own thing and then you have the larger society which is good. Another thing is that if you want to be a Canadian, be a Canadian. Yeah. Because there will be people saying you are not Canadian. Yeah. There's ignorance, you forget it, you know. But you have to treat yourself Canadian. Sometimes you don't treat yourself a Canadian and no wonder other people don't treat you as such. If you don't love yourself, how do you expect people to love yes. you? Respect you, you? Yes, Same you thing. go around, yeah. I'm Portuguese, I'm Portuguese. <laughs> no, we, 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 we adopt the word Portuguese Canadian, yes. Chinese Canadian, right? So we have the Canadian, ultimately we call ourselves Canadian yes. with a cultural or ethnic background, which is which is good and okay. Yeah. But you have to behave like one. And and if you don't, you cannot expect people to treat you as such. So I'm I'm as if I'm defending for the for the, the larger society. But I like to be part of the larger society. Yeah, you know, I can go home. I can go home and eat Chinese food. Yeah. But guess what? In Canada, Chinese food, yeah. Italian food, yeah. Portuguese food, you know, Russian, on and on and on and on. Yeah. You asked me earlier before the interview yeah. start, 
What struck you the most? I tell you, when I came to Canada, the number of thing that surprises me the most is that I see all these people from all around the world. Yeah. I had no money to see, to travel and see them. They all came to see me. Whoa! You know, such wow. such an experience, eh? What a foul, powerful projection. Oh, wow. I mean, Particularly, I was in university. You see yeah, all these yeah. people, eh? First black person from Africa, I saw here. You know, the uh, 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 Italian, uh, so many Italians. They are Isn't that from amazing? Italy. They, they all come to see me. Isn't that wonderful? I, I don't have to travel. Of course, I, I subsequently travel to see them. Well, but before I'm able to do that, they are all here. Well, first Greek I saw in Canada, Dutch in Canada. Wow. Was that wonderful? So I thought it is this is really, I, I, I pick Canada mostly. There is an English speaking country, of course, with the yeah. French side that time I didn't know. But it's an English speaking country. I wanted to, number one, learn English, number two, yeah. attend university, number three, see the, see the world as I can. And seeing the world is I can't because seeing yes. the world you take you going around yeah, and all that, yeah, right? Yeah. But they are all here to see me. Wow, well, what a benefit! I thought that's that was something really. And I think honestly, um, well, first of all, thank you for such a revelation because it's it's like somebody put new glasses on you and you see something. It's very interesting. It's very unique vantage point, if I can say, and it's a beautiful point to stop. I mean, it's such a powerful statement that you made. I really appreciate that. Thank oh, you thank very you. much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Now.